Fiberglass is an insulation that is commonly found at your local hardware store. You've probably seen something that looks a lot like cotton candy. It even comes in the same variety of colors, and they're usually in large bags. While this substance is extremely useful in maintaining your home, handling it is a completely different story. She started finding flakes of fiberglass all over the house. She believes the fiberglass caused her kids respiratory issues and says she's had to throw almost everything out. Today, I'd like to talk about fiberglass insulation. The do's, the don'ts, the what ifs, and the how to's. Let's get started. As the name suggests, fiberglass is made out of glass fibers. This includes several basic raw materials, such as soda ash, limestone, spelledfar, borax, silica sand, and many others. It is also made up of discontinuous glass fibers. Therefore, 35% recycled glass, so that old beer bottle that you threw away might actually be in this insulation. The process itself within the factory when producing fiberglass is what gives it the ability to resist heat flow. First, a mixture is prepared with the available raw ingredients and is then put into a furnace set at 2500 degrees Fahrenheit. The molten glass will then flow into a cylindrical container with small holes on the top. As the container spins, glass will start to flow out of the holes into small short weaves and then will be rolled into the fleecy blanket that you see in the hardware store. The fiberglass fibers trap pockets of air, slowing the flow of heat. When installed in a building, fiberglass helps maintain the conditioned cool or heated air. As a result, this could benefit your heating costs. The big question, is it safe? Well, when handling fiberglass, there's a large series of YouTube channels where people are These are custom made insulation jousting sticks, fiberglass. These are gonna itch when you get hit with them. Guys, um explaining how they itch, or they wheeze, or they cough, or maybe their eyes get red. Now, fiberglass itself has glass in the name. Well, that's because of the small glass particles that you really can't see that tend to either leach onto your skin or you're inhaling. Now, as someone with a limited amount of experience installing fiberglass, the first time that I came across it a couple of years ago, I made the mistake of not wearing a face mask, um, goggles, or any sort of protective gear. I ended up inhaling it, and the whole day I was wheezing and itching and trying to figure out what I did wrong. So here are the necessary steps that you might want to take before and after handling your fiberglass. Your first step is to take the precaution of wearing gloves. It could be these or silicone gloves. Next, you want to have goggles or glasses available to you. Next, you also want to have a long sleeve shirt or a sweater and potentially a hair covering. Because it was either too hot or you just didn't have the time to pick up that necessary equipment. Now, your arms are itching and your, or your throat scratching. What are the next steps that you take? Well, first, baby powder to the skin. If you don't have a long sleeve shirt, if it's too hot, do that first. Afterwards, if it's itching, anything related to tape, masking tape, duct tape, regular tape, or if you happen to have a lint roller, rub it or dab it on your skin and it will pull the glass particles out. If it's in your throat, don't go ahead and drink water first. First, get a dry piece of toast. Like a bread, it will, it will suck everything in and it'll pull it down as opposed to, you know, continuously drinking water and only small bits at a time are going down. Depending on where you are or what you are using fiberglass for, there may be other alternatives if fiberglass isn't for you. If you're insulating your home's piping, we would strongly recommend tubular pipe sticks. They're made of foam and come also in a rubber coated version. If you'd like to learn more about tubular pipe sticks, you could check out our previous video up above. Now, if you're looking for insulation in the walls, or anywhere else, we would strongly recommend 
mineral wool, which is fire retardant. You also have other options such as recycled cotton, which is generally made out of recycled denim. You have thermocork, aerogel, amongst many other alternatives out there on the market. If you have any questions, suggestions, or stories to tell us, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the section below. And be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, everybody.